Good morning everyone! Storytelling time! And our story is entitled Love for Love. So before anything else, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Rehan C. Maron. Love for Love is a comedy play by William Conger, written in 1694 and first performed in 1695. The play concerns young people looking for love, marriage, in a society where marriages are financial conveniences. Critics praised Love for Love for tackling sexual etiquette and gender identity problems during the restoration. Congreve was a distinguished restoration dramatist. He is best known for satirizing 17th century society through his comical use of courtship, sexual game playing, and innuendos. The protagonist is Valentin Legend. Valentin is an irresponsible young man who doesn't know how to manage money. Although he comes from a very wealthy family, Valentin is destitute after drinking and gambling his money away. When the play opens, Valentin wonders how he can get his money back. The problem is that Valentin doesn't want to earn money. He just wants it handed to him. Valentin's father, Sir Samson, confronts him about his debt's problems. Sir Samson is disappointed in Valentin. He lends his son money on one condition. Valentin must transfer his inheritance rights to his brother, Ben. Ben is younger, but he is trustworthy and responsible with money. Although Valentin hates losing his inheritance, he needs cash quickly to pursue another objective. Valentin loves Angelica, but he cannot marry her without money. By signing his father's deal, Valentin secures enough money to court Angelica. Valentin decides to worry about his future later. In the meantime, Angelica has her, o- her own family problems. Her uncle, Forsyth, forbids her from leaving the house. He complains that she socializes too much and she looks like a loose woman. Despite her protest, Angelica knows that she must pretend to do what he says. She plans to leave the house when he turns his back. She wants to see Valentin. Sir Sampson draws up paperwork confirming the transfer of Valentin's inheritance rights to Ben. At the same time, he hands Valentin the agreed sum to court Angelica. Valentin explains that although he needs money to woo Angelica, he needs more money to pay off his creditors. Sir Sampson says that Valentin is an embarrassment to the family and he leaves the room alone. Meanwhile, Angelica pretends that she is over Valentin. She plays it cool so that he must work harder for her affections. Angelica's friends assure her that this is a good idea. At the same time, Miss Prue, Ben's beloved, uh, arrives. She knows that Ben is handsome, but she doesn't want to marry him yet. An elderly woman, Mrs. Frail, has her own plans. She fancies Ben too, and she wants his for- fortune. She decides to make it look as if Miss Prue slept with another man so she can marry Ben. One morning, a nurse finds Miss Prue with Tattle. Tattle is a womanizer, but he did not sleep with Miss Prue. He convinces the nurse of his innocence and leaves. At the same time, Ben appears. He doesn't want to marry Miss Prue. He wants to spend his whole life at sea. A wife would ruin his plan. Miss Prue defends her pride by saying that she doesn't fancy Ben anyway. She does not want to marry him. Ben gives up being nice to her, saying the whole thing is a waste of time. Mrs. Frail doesn't know what to do because if Ben wants to stay single, she can't marry him either. In the meantime, Valentine does not does his best to stay out of trouble. Scandal confronts Valentine about his financial situation. He says that Valentine must fight for his rightful inheritance. If Valentine pretends to go mad with grief, Sir Samson might forgive him and transfer his rights back. Valentine thinks that this is a terrible idea, but he goes along with it anyway since he is out of options. Sir Samson finds Valentine muttering to himself and looking strange. Sir Samson finds the whole thing very inconvenient. Incon- he knows that Valentine is lying. Sir Samson's lawyer, however, declares the agreement void. He says that since Valentine is insane, he couldn't lawfully enter into a contract. Sir Samson is furious. Things only get worse when Valentin and Angelica come up with their own plan. 
Angelica pretends that she wants to marry Sir Samson. Sir Samson believes her flattery and declares himself a lucky man. Ben thinks Angelica is mad for marrying his father and Sir Samson disowns Ben. Valentine confronts Sir Samson. He admits that he is an He isn't say insane at all. He promises to sign the agreement if Angelica really wants to marry Sir Samson, because her happiness is all that matters. Angelica declares her love for Sir Samson, but just in time, she admits that she is playing Sir Samson at his own game. She loves Valentin and does not think he should sign his inheritance away. Sir Samson is left feeling bewildered, tricked, and tired.